Hi, it's Laura. Let's see what we sold on Whatnot this week. It's time again, what sold on Whatnot video. So, uh, for my morning show, I sold a total of 18 items to 12 different people, four of whom were first time buyers for me. And my total sales were $258. After fees, after fees, <laughs> I get 221 of that. So that's fantastic. Um, most of these orders are onesie twosies. Uh, I did have one customer purchase five items. Everybody else is onesie twosies. So we're gonna get into it and see what we sold and to who and for how much. First off is a new to me buyer. They purchased this vest, which is really adorable. I love all the applique and everything on it. The fringe is a nightmare. Uh, it's janky. The fringe is janky, but I disclosed that. So this sold for $11. So it actually has been in, I think just maybe two shows. Maybe it was just in shows last week. Number 46, yeah, probably. Um, and so that's good. That means that more than one person bid on it. So that's nice, nice little surprise. Um, I don't know where my garbage can is. I'm just gonna lint roll this a little bit. It's a really cute vest, but the fringe is problematic because it just gets caught on stuff and easily just like pulls out and unravels. But I disclosed all that, of course. So just gonna make sure there's no weird little stray hairs and everything. Um, but it's a cute little vest. I'm excited to send this off to someone. We'll get it folded up nice and neatly. Um, so it seems on YouTube, I've been having some new friends who are commenting on lots of my videos about how my videos are great, but I'm not properly utilizing my SEO or my thumbnails or whatever else it is. And it's like, y'all, I guess they're not happy that I have been ignoring all of their emails that they were sending me. Um, I feel like, you know, while they cl clearly have the answer to all of my problems, um, I don't, you know, like no means no. And ignoring means also no. And I'm not gonna delete their comments from my videos anymore because at least it's engagement, so I've got that. That's nice, so thank you for the engagement. But uh, I am obviously not focusing on YouTube as my main priority, if you can't tell by the <laughs> extremely professional formatting that we've got going on here. Um, this is for funsies, so. All right, let's see. Um, Item number two sold to another new to me buyer. And I'm actually going to try and steam this a little bit. It's a really cute top. Boop, boop, boop. Um, doesn't have any brand tag or anything, so I don't know what the brand is. This sold for $10. It's got a little bit of a lumpiness here um, because it was hung on a clippy hanger and it stretched it a little bit. So I just want to steam that before I wrap it all up so that it kind of straightens it back out again and looks nicer. So I'm gonna just put that off to the side, but that sold for $10. Um, it was the starting bid, no surprise, but it's a really cute top. All right, item number three and four are two, uh, is two items going to one buyer, obviously. All right, the next package. This is a return buyer for me. She bought two really fun things. Um, first, she got this romper. This has been a few shows. It was item number 76. So, and you know, like they start off one through 30 when they're brandy new, and then they keep getting bumped back. Um, so this has been in a few shows now, but it's such a cute romper. And let's see what she sold for. I feel like 15, but let's see. Let's see. Probably. There we go. Yes, $15. And it was she was the only bid, which is, you know, makes sense. Um, it was requested. It's such a cute little romper. I'm very excited when people like my stuff, I guess. Um, let's see. And oh, this needs like also a little bit of lint rolling. The second thing that she bought is so cute, but I'm gonna lint roll this a little bit. Let's see. Make sure that 
we don't have any stray hairs from these felines. Okay. So. I get paranoid, especially with prints, because, you know, sometimes like stuff is harder to see. So if I see one, I'm like, let me just get it all, do a quickie once over again. All right. Now I'm trying to fold it so that it looks nice. It'll be up here. It's got a lot of little, um, there's like corset ties on this romper. It's really cute, but it, that means it's also got a lot of little strings hanging out of places. That's okay. All right. There we go. There's one. The second thing she got is this sweater, which is so freaking cute. I did consider keeping this, but I have so many, you know, but look at this. It's like Muppet fur. <laughs> and it, it almost looks like it's going to be some crazy fast fashion sweater that looks really cool, but is complete garbage, but it's not. It's like a really, I think it's handmade. It's a really nice chunky wool, uh, not wool. It's a nice chunky yarn. I think it's probably acrylic. Um, and it's just really cute. It's a fun, super fun sweater. It's not itchy. And I hope that she loves it. Oh my God, it's so much fun. All right, let's see if I can fold. That's not gonna fold up really great. It's gonna be kind of chunky to fold. So let's see what we can do as far as getting it into a poly mailer that's decent. I don't think we need to go crazy large, but we're just gonna go like medium large. Moderately large and noisy. Okay. Let's see. I want to kind of tuck parts of this in, but whatever. It's going to be a little chunky, I think. Here we go. There you go, my friend. Okay. All right. We got this. This works. Yay! Lovely. Okay. Just terrify my cat one second. Sorry, sir. All right. Package number four. This is going to another um, repeat customer for me. So this one I'm, I'm happy with. Um, I was running through pro, you know, just as I do. Somebody requested that I ran this one, so I did. We're not there yet. Um, and then this is by the same maker. So I was talking about it and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to run this other one while we're here. And somebody bought it. So I was happy about that. I love both of them. They're really pretty. Jonathan Martin is the brand. And um, this sold for 10 bucks. So it's really nice. And I was saying, as I was running the auction, I was like, you know, I've been considering swapping this out for another one in my closet, but then they bid on it. I was like, but I guess I will not do that now. <laughs> I have another blouse in my closet that's really pretty, but that I just don't wear enough. And this would be like a nice substitution. I don't know why, mostly because they both have purple in them, I guess. The other one is a 50s blouse, so not the same at all. I'm buttoning this up. Sorry. So sorry. But this is so pretty. Okay. Nice little silky rayon. And look, it's got this cute little peacock in the back. I love that. So let's get this folded up. Uh, I really love doing these. I love whatnot shows. I love doing these videos. Um, but you know, I dress up for whatnot and for these videos. And I love doing that too. But also I cannot wait until I'm done recording this video and I can put all my little stretchy sweatpants and little tank tops and cardigans back on again. I will work from home wardrobe. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see. Next is this one, which is another return customer for me. So this one, okay, cool. Um, sold for $10 also. It's also Jonathan Martin, right? It's so pretty. This is like an extra small. Um, it's such a pretty blouse, both of these. I think that they're really like, I don't know what it is about them. I feel like I want to sort of research Jonathan Martin a little bit more. That's the maker of both of these. In fact, before I forget, there, 
typed it into a Google search so I do not forget. Um, yes, Jonathan Martin. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I will probably immediately close that browser window without thinking about it, but gave myself a half a chance. These are just really pretty. They, they definitely have like um, a 40s vibe to them with the print, but they are definitely 70s. They're just really nice quality. I don't know, I love them a lot. Um, and I think I already said that they sold for $10. So let me get this bagged up. All pretty little packaging. Now I've got to blow my nose again because apparently I have some sort of ridiculous allergies that this is the thing, if I was editing videos, this is a segment I would edit out, but I don't do that yet. One day, someday, right? Someday I'll be able to edit out the part where I'm blowing my nose. Not today. Okay. Next is another return customer for me. She bought a piece that I absolutely love. It's a 60s, it's like a bed jacket. It's kind of long for a bed jacket, but it's not long enough to be like a regular robe. Um, this had a pre-bid on it, so I don't actually know if she was in the show when she won the auction, but it doesn't matter, we don't care. Um, really fun, quilted. It's got this very thick, like, it's like oversized piping. It's really cool. Um, and this sold for $15, $20. And I think, no, I'm sorry, $15. I'm looking at something wrong. I was like, I don't think I started it at 20. Um, yeah, she was the only one who bid on it. I was really pumped with it, but um, let's see. I'm trying to fold this up. It does not want to cooperate really. Can't. There, okay, kind of. Stay. Hold, please. I don't know if I can shove it into one of these small ones. I feel like that's going to be a little mm, sloppy looking. So we're going to have to put it into a medium one. I was about to question whether or not I need to order more of these medium poly mailers, but I actually think I have them already, so I'm ahead of my game. Yay. All right. Here's that. Cool, cool. Um, all right, next is a new to me customer who purchased two items. So first is this yellow 60s cocktail dress. So adorable. I love it. Let's see, and this was 15 bucks, which, is a freaking steal and a half for a 60s cocktail dress. So I must have priced it that way. I was probably trying to put in like some really nice deals when I priced this. I, this was in last week's show, so that's when I did the pricing for it. Um, yeah, just last week, okay. Let me see, this does not want to fold up super well. Oh, that's cute. That has to be there. Okay. I'm trying to, again, fold it in a way that looks cute. There we go. Look how cute. Right? Little bow. Okay. Thumbnails? No. Okay. And then the second thing that she purchased was this set. So this must also have gone for 15 because her total was 30. This is a skirt set. And, oops. These, these, Things, these things are so cheap and crappy. And I don't know that there's many options for non-cheap ones, um, but whatever. Of course I got them on stupid Amazon, so naturally they're cheap. But let's see, it cracked just now when I was holding it. It didn't break all the way through, but it's gonna now soon. I can't tell you how many of those stupid tags I've taped at the, uh, whatever. All right, get this skirt together, skirt, yeah. 
and then the sweater that goes with it. Little two-piece set. Very cute. So sorry. You don't want to hear that. That's not even like real singing. I'm humming some made up whatever. All right, there we go. That like that. All right, so what I'm trying to do is fold it so that the bow shows on one side and then this will show on the other side of the package because the poly mailers are, you know, fully clear. Man, I really thought that I'd be able to do most of my packaging with the smaller poly mailers, but I'm using these mid-sized ones a lot. I'm glad I brought them all. I almost brought just the small poly mailers over to my little setup here. I'm glad I brought everybody because... <laughs> all right, let's see. Come on, friends. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I need to turn this, but I don't know if it's gonna. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Cool. So side one, side two. Looks lovely. All right. Throw this on the bed and terrorize my cat some more. Next. And next is another repeat customer and they ordered this dress um, and it sold for $20, which was the starting bid. It's a 70s maxi dress. It's very cool. And it's like a size large, which is also nice. So very excited. And it's funny because, you know, I get all of this inventory insecurity, but I also get a lot of really nice compliments during my shows about what great inventory I have. So that's nice. Um, I think that one of the things is I do tend to have pretty diverse inventory because I legitimately enjoy a whole range of eras. And I do think that I have, I, I think I have a particular aesthetic. I don't know how I'd describe the aesthetic. I know that it involves a lot of like, prints and ruffles and whatever, like extras, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I do buy outside of my own aesthetic on occasion, but I think overall the presentation is somewhat consistent, I guess, but still diverse. It's weird. I don't know. So I feel like that works. Um, I do feel like I'm still not really tapping the Y2K folks. Um, and I don't know if it's because they're just not seeing me or I'm not picking up the kind of Y2K stuff that they like. I think that my Y2K um, offerings are probably fun for true vintage lovers. People like me, they, they're into true vintage, but you know, Y2K does have some really fun stuff. But I think that the Y2K purists, um, I don't know if they see themselves as purists, but I feel like there is a population that's definitely like they are into the Y2K and that's what they like and that's it. Um, I don't know that the stuff I get is really kind of what they're looking for, but maybe they just haven't run across me. Um, even in my evening shows, like unless I'm having a Y2K specific show, I don't market myself as Y2K and I don't highlight the Y2K pieces too much. Um, I know that as a shopper, when I'm scrolling through whatnot, I really almost never look at the Y2K shows. Um, you can do this thing on whatnot when a show is live, you can kind of hold your finger on it. And so it kind of starts playing a preview of it like it'll show you the video portion of what they're currently doing, but not enter, you know, it doesn't show that you entered the, the auction. So, you know, um, and I like to do that once in a while because there are some Y2K things that I really enjoy, but a lot of it is not my thing. So um, let's do what we're here to do, Laura, and talk about what we're shipping. I sold this is my next item to another um, repeat buyer for me. 
it sold for $11. So I started it at 10 and two people bid on it. So it's an Evan Picone skirt. Um, I really do love it. It's marked a size 10, but it is not, like, I don't understand what the sizing is because it's definitely much larger. So I can't tell if it's been altered or it's just weird. Um, the placement of the tag on the inside of the skirt is also not where it a tag would typically be. So I don't know, but it doesn't look altered at all, you know? I mean, it does because of where the tag is compared to the, the closure. Um, and because the tag size does not match the measurements, but it doesn't like, you don't look at it and go, oh yeah, this was like the waistband was taken out or anything, or, you know, like it doesn't look like that. So I don't know. I'm just de mintifying here. this fascinating okay cool 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 yay all right now i gotta try and fold this pleated skirt in a way that still keeps the pleats nice and neat i think i'm gonna try and do this i don't even want to describe what i'm trying to do because it's always a little weird um i try to fold it to kind of keep the integrity of the pleats, but that can be hard to do. So, yeah, let's see, let's see how this looks. It's not really folded up the way that I would like, but it's folded in a way that I think is a little bit kinder to the pleating. Thankfully, whatever they do to pleat things, pleats are usually pretty resilient. So that's nice. <laughs> that didn't work out at all the way that I wanted. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it in half like that. Okay. Fold it in half like that, which you can't see. Also in editing world, if I edited, this is the part where I would just make a little comment that said, skip ahead to blank, blank, blank to get past all of my folding BS. But instead, you've just got to kind of sit through it and hope for the best. Sorry. I was going to try and sign up for like some kind of class or watch a video, whatever, Skillshare or something. Um, I didn't sign up for Skillshare because it's one of those things where they won't tell you how much it costs until you give them your email address. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. So I don't know, but I feel like I need to take a class. All right. The next, oh, this got some bids, which was fun. So I don't remember what the bidding started at. I suspect I did 20 um, because I think I paid a little bit for this dress. I think so. I think I paid 10. So I think I started the bidding at 20. Um, it doesn't have any tags. So I don't know 100% that it's vintage, but it's definitely got vintage aesthetic. And the zipper has a broken spot, like the little tabby guy broke off, but you can, it still functions. It's just hard to pull up because it doesn't have anything on it. But again, that was all disclosed. This sold, sold for $26. So there was some bidding back and forth. Um, so that was nice. It's a really cute little dress. So let's see, get this folded up. There we go. What are you? There we go. Okay. And one more little fold. There we go. There we go. There we go. And yes. Okay. So like that. We're so close to the end. Sometimes I feel like it takes me forever to record these videos and get these packages shipped. And I'm not having that today, which is nice. Did I just rip this bag? Okay, there we go. There we go. We are close to the end, but sorry, Skibbins. Um, that last package is five items. So, all right, now.
this next package is another new to me buyer and they bought this gorgeous little piece of lingerie so this sold for 15 bucks which is um, pretty sure what I started it at this is a very Olga-esque nighty it's not Olga there are no tags in it but I know it's not Olga just because just you know it doesn't have the the hallmarks um, but these are just it's just such a flattering silhouette like nice and fitted through the bodice and then it's got a fuller skirt that super stretchy nylon sort of lingerie fabric you know um, it's just it's really pretty and the color is phenomenal it's this amazing jewel tone purple let's see if we can fold this up in a pretty way mm. no that's not nice we don't like that hold on hold please okay this should be better there we go not perfection, but it's nice. We like it. I'll show it to you once I've got it in the bag because you know how lingerie is. It gets all like slidey. It's very slippery and unfolds itself easily. That's how I started when I store my inventory. I store it all in these poly mailers, um, partially for that reason, because you can fold something up, but then because it's all slidey and slippery, it just unfolds instantaneously. So I started storing things in the poly mailers that I used to ship to help keep everything neat in their tote bins. Okay, so this final package, repeat buyer, repeat buyer for me, return customer, and she purchased five items. Um, um, awesome items, all of them, I love them. So let's see. And oh, she got these two things that are also very similar and I love. So first is this cute little, this is a skort. It's got owls and basically it's a skirt, but it has like shorts sewn in underneath it. So it's adorable. This went for 15, which is what I started it at. That did have a start. She, she pre-bid on that. Um, oh dear. Oh, that's thread. Okay. That's not bad. Oh dear. Hold on. I have to fix a little thread issue here. The tag is like unraveling. And it got caught in the zipper and it didn't get caught caught but i want to pull that out so it doesn't get caught caught when she tries to unzip it hey there we go okay so i think we need to fold the package up so that the owls are showing because of course because they're so cute Okay, that's item number one. Item number two is another skirt, very similar, same thing. It's a skirt with like little shorts sewn in underneath it, right? I guess it was a thing for a while, I don't know. Um, but these are so adorable. These also, I want to say sold for 15, let's see, 10. They sold for 10, obviously what I started it at. Um, <laughs> this up. They're so cute. All right, there's that. Well, what are we doing here, friends? Okay, then she purchased, <laughs> I'm gonna hold off on that one, hold on. Um, this little dress, so this is handmade. Really cute little dress. And what is this? This one went for 15. I just gotta fold it up pretty. Oh my, my floor is extra squeaky to me today, which is probably not. <laughs> it's just I'm noticing it more. So, all right, there's that. Cute little dress. And then, she purchased this other handmade dress. Really pretty. It's got this like cape situation on it. This sold for 15 bucks. 
I think both of these dresses came from a recent estate sale. Um, starting to mix, you know, sometimes some of this inventory is in and out of here so quickly that it's, it can be difficult to keep track of what I got where. I used to be really good. I would know which thrift store I got something at and how much I paid for it. Um, gets a little more challenging when you're rapidly cycling. All right, this dress doesn't look super cute folded up, but that's okay, because we've got a plan. We've got a plan for the cuteness, and it involves this shirt. Ha <laughs> ha. This is like a 70s era, very like disco style silhouette, but this painted on design is very reminiscent of like 40s painted blouses to me, I think. Reminds me of that. It's beautiful. Um, I feel like this was 15, but let's see. Let's see, 10, oh, I was generous with that one today, 10 bucks, good. I mean, I know that that's, you know, I still made money on it, but I feel like part of me would have done 15, but that's okay. Especially, and it's, a, whatever, it's gratifying either way. It's gratifying when it goes to a re return customer because I like that they can get deals with me but it's also gratifying if it goes to a new to me customer so that they can learn that <laughs> there's reasons to come back. So, you know, fun all around. All right, and so we're gonna wrap this one up. So that is the morning show edition. And uh, it's gonna be three seconds for you, but it's gonna be several hours for me and I will be right back with my evening show results. See you in a minute. All right, I decided to add in a little segment here because I have three packages to ship that are not related to Whatnot today. I never show you what's sold on other platforms, but I thought I would show you these. You're not gonna see full items because everything was packaged up in inventory already, um, but I'll tell you what they were. So first I have this little hat. This is like a balaclava type hat. The brand is Refrigerware. Refrigerware, and they make like workwear for refrigeration situations, freezer trucks, etc. So um, this one wasn't a big sale for me. I had gotten this at an estate sale um, that had a whole bunch of, you know, there was a lot of Y2K stuff there. There was some some 70s pieces there. It's kind of a range, but a lot of Y2K. But I picked up a bunch of these refrigerware pieces, mostly like pants and jackets and stuff. I think that I, I didn't really know anything about them. They reminded me of these like quilted military pants, so I thought it was cool. But I think that they were a little more modern and more functional and less of the fashion piece that I was trying to go for. Anyway, I listed this. Uh, I had this listed for $24.99. I've had it listed for quite a while. I don't know how long, maybe a year-ish. And so um, somebody sent me an offer for 15 bucks on this. It's eBay, so it was 15 plus shipping, which I accepted. So this is gonna go out. The second thing, that I sold um, is, this is a skirt. So the brand on this is Mondi. Um, this is like 80s or 90s era. And let's see, I forget what I sold it for because I sold it on Depop. So it's a skirt that I had listed on eBay, but I cross posted via Vendu. And uh, somebody, sent, so I had it listed at $89, I think on Depop, somebody sent me an offer for 65, so I accepted it. Um, because I had it cross posted on Vendu, that means that I actually then had to go back, mark it as sold on Vendu, and then deactivate that listing on eBay and Etsy, which I had to do manually because Vendu does not have a way to do that automatically yet. If you sell something on eBay, they automatically delist it from your other platforms, but not, like only if you've sold it on eBay, okay? And then the final, thing that I'm shipping today. Um, and that Mondi skirt I've had for a bajillion years. Like, I, And by bajillion, I mean like two, maybe, something like that. Um, so that's good. And then this blouse, blouse, it's a sweater. It's not a blouse, Laura. Um, let me look at the receipt on this. So this is a purple crochet sweater that I had listed on Etsy. It is a new old stock piece, so that's really cool. And I had it listed, 
for $50, $50 um, and the customer used a 20% off coupon. So it's one of those that if they put it in their favorites or maybe in their cart, um, Etsy has my permission to essentially send them a coupon saying like, hey, I see you like this item. Do you want to get 20% off? And so this person took advantage of that offer. So this sold for 40 and that includes the shipping price. Um, I include shipping on Etsy and Depop. I do not include shipping on eBay. My rationale behind that was, first of all, eBay, I do free returns. Um, and also I accept offers. Now Depop and Etsy are also now doing offers that weren't really a thing before. Obviously I use coupons on Etsy. So it's kind of just a, a holdover from when I was, you know, doing best offer on eBay, but wasn't engaging in offers elsewhere. So other platforms would be like the price included shipping. eBay was like shipping is extra, but you can negotiate, you know? Now it's all just, maybe I should update my eBay at some point. I don't know. eBay's, you know, the free returns, it don't get that many returns, but it is a factor too. So I don't know. Anyway, um, those are the three items that I have to ship today that are not related to whatnot. And I thought I would show those to you and share those with you. So, all right. Now for serious, I'll be back in a minute with the evening show results. Thanks again. All right. Evening edition sales. All right, before I get into the whatnot sales, um, I'm going to do another Etsy order that I received just a little while ago. I only have one non whatnot order going out so far today. It's only like 1030 in the morning for me. Um, I haven't done any listing on any platform other than whatnot in the past couple days. So my sales have slowed a little, but I did get one order today. So yay, it was another um, coupon generated order with this really cute hat. Look at this. How adorable. It is faux fur. I had it listed for 39 and the customer favorited or had it in their cart or something. So they got a 20% off coupon. So, um, they ended up paying, it was like, you know, whatever, like $31, right? It includes shipping. So, um, and I have no idea what I paid for this hat. I mean, it was probably two, three bucks at whatever point in time that I got it. I've had it for a while. So that's my Etsy sale for today. What not? Did my show last night. It was once again, kind of slow. I did get, um, hold on. Let me give you some stats. I sold six items going to four different customers. They were all pre pre existing. <laughs> they were all repeat buyers. They had purchased from me in the past. Um, my total sales were $95 after fees. I get $81 and 92 cents. So again, it's, it's worth doing right? I've already got the setup done. I was on for, I think about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, but those show, the shows are still a little rough for me. I do still hold out hope. You know, I'm making sales generally speaking, and I have had some shows in the past that were really good evening shows. So I don't know what the magic potion is yet. I don't know if it's the inventory that I'm using. I don't know if it's how far in advance I'm getting the shows loaded. I feel like those aren't factors because there are so many sellers that never load inventory. Um, there are, you know, all of the inventory that I'm offering, there are people who love those things. You know, as you'll see today, there's sometimes where I have things that have actually, no, most, <laughs> most of the things I sold last night were all brand new items. Scratch that. But definitely in the past, I've sold items that have been sitting around for a little while. So it's not that people don't enjoy my inventory, even though I tend to start thinking of it as stale if it's been in like more than one show, apparently. Um, I don't, so I don't know what it is. I, if I haven't established myself, I'm still trying to have some faith and figure out what my formula is. I know that I definitely am coming at my evening shows with, with lower energy. It's kind of hard. It's the end of the day. I have already been like dressed down comfy clothes most of the day. So now I'm getting dressed again into something that's, you know, more appealing and dressed up instead of sweatpants. Um, I have lower viewership. I have lower engagement. I have fewer requests, all of those things. It makes it very hard for me to be sort of engaged and on when I'm not getting a lot of feedback from the watchers, buyers, audience, if that makes sense. I did have somebody submit a few requests last night um, and then they did not bid on them, which is fine. You know, obviously people are not obligated to bid, 
but it does like getting a request does give me a little boost of like oh okay somebody's interested and then when they don't bid it feels a little bit like a failure um and so when that's sort of a repeated pattern they, they requested like four items and didn't bid on any of them and so i try not to show disappointment um because that's a bummer right but i also it's you know it's hard to like keep up the excitement when you know you feel like you're just talking to yourself and nobody's there in a way um, and I don't want to make it sound like nobody's there, but I had very low viewership. I think it was, you know, at the high point, it was like seven or eight people. And a lot of the show was like three and four. So I try also not to pay too much attention to the number of people in the room during those shows. I just, I feel like I have to find a way to get my enthusiasm boosted a little bit for the evening shows. So let me go over what I did sell last night and uh, let's get these put together. I will have to use my lint roller. I apologize. Maybe I'll just show you everything and then do all the labor part after the fact. You don't need to watch me bag it up. Um, this first item is from another seller. Um, I love her. She's wonderful. And I don't like disclosing like people's purchases, so I'm not going to say who it is, but um, she's great. She purchased this color block shirt, right? It's like 80s, 90s. And uh, this was $15, so that's cool. She's bought for me before. Um, and she, she may be buying it for resale, which whatever, I, you know, whatever people do with stuff is their business. So I'm cool with it. Um, the second purchase. So this was an item that I added in just for last night's show. So that's nice. You know, it's sort of, um, I think this one, no, I think this one was in my morning show. Anyway, I added this in for the show last night. So it was nice that it made it worthwhile. This sold for $10 to a repeat customer. Then, let me see. This one's really cool. I also added this in for the show for last night. It was not in the morning show. This, it looks like a leather vest. It's really cool. Super angular and like 80s and crazy. Um, the fiber content tag says it's 100% rayon. So it's got these like rhinestone details. It's really cool. This sold for $15. This is a piece that I purchased, I wanna say for like seven or eight bucks. Um, and there was a second one at the store that was selling for 15 that was a smaller size so i was glad that i found this and swapped it out i think 15 bucks is a really reasonable price for that for the buyer um and then my last package is another repeat buyer they purchased three items for me so it's fantastic so number one is this little 60s reproduction dress it's so cute but it's definitely a more modern reproduction it might be like a 90s era, I'm not positive, but it's for sure not 60s. This sold for $15. Um, it's missing a button on one of the cuffs, really cute. And then they also got this cardigan, which I love. I was super pumped. Um, I can't remember if I showed in my, in my morning sales video, but this I thought was gonna look really, really cute with this yellow striped top, right? Like those would have been so cute together, color-wise at least, color and pattern. The collars don't really work together, but anyway, this sold, so I will not get to play that game. I won't be able to style them, but this is such a cute sweater. And this was, I wanna say 15 also. This was 15. And then the final item that sold is this wool duster jacket. I love it, it is gorgeous. And I think it sold for 25. Yeah. Nothing got bid up last night, which is no surprise. It's such, you know, a small show. Um, but look at this thing. Look at the rainbow stitching. I love it. Here's the tag. So, um, so that's it. Those are my, those are my morning sales, uh, morning sales, evening sales. Oh my God. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap those up and get them shipped out. Um, let me know if you like me including some of the other site sales, the Etsy, eBay, etc. I don't know, you know, it'll just be anything that happened to sell and needs shipping the same day that my whatnot show is shipping. I always ship things, um, you know, the following business day or sometimes the same day, depending on when they sell. So I'm not always going to have a whole bunch pulled out. And I'm not at the point yet where I can do like a whole weekly recap for you because that's going to include screenshots and I just, I'm not there. So, uh, but if you enjoy seeing some of that stuff, let me know. And I'm going to go and wrap these up and then try and get my, mm, I have so much stuff to do. <laughs> I 
been trying to hype myself up to get it done. And uh, it's rough, man. It's not, it's, all right, but we can do it. We can do it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you again either for a haul video or a what's old video very soon. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Thank you so much. Bye.